from London, England, it's theCUBE. Covering Coupa Inspire 19 EMEA. Brought to you by Coupa. Hey, welcome to theCUBE. Lisa Martin on the ground in London at Coupa Inspire 19. And I'm really excited to be joined by my last guest of the day, save the best for last. We have Raja Hamoud, the EVP of products from Coupa. Raja, welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming here. Of course, it's been great. We've had a, we've had a great day. Lots of buzz and excitement in the expo hall. The lights are dimmed, it's happy hour, so it's thank you. It's happy hour, perfect Making timing. time for theCUBE during happy hour. <laughs> So I know your keynote is tomorrow, so we'll get to that since we won't yeah. be able to cover that. But talk to me about some of the new product innovations that Coupa announced today. Because last time we spoke at Inspire Las Vegas was only a few months ago, so what's new? Wow, a lot is new. It's, it's hard to believe it's only been three months since yeah. then. It's been so fast. Um, we very much continue our um, focus on our community-powered uh, capabilities. Uh, this has been an incredible focus for us. Uh, so most recently, we've added to all of the announcements we talked about at uh, Vegas, uh, the um, next waves of Source Together, the opportunity to bring our community to come and source uh, using their collective spent power. Uh, lots of new enhancements in that area. And also, we're taking our supplier insights to the next level. One of the exciting capabilities our customers loved is that being part of a community member, I can come in and I can look at insights across all of my suppliers uh, from the entire community. What we, we've been working with them on is constantly adding more and more information to that. So now we have diversity data. So you can come in and you can search for suppliers that meet your- Like uh, women-owned women, businesses? Exactly, exactly. Those are increasingly becoming more and more important and then wow. uh, we can help companies source with the right suppliers much more easily right off the bat. Um, other areas that uh, we've announced today was uh, Coupa Pay for Expenses, an early access program. Uh, we also announced invoicing um, going on GA. When we talked in Vegas, it was still in the early access program uh, capabilities. And uh, opening up our platform, Coupa as a platform. Uh, Tell me about that, because I, yeah. I wasn't quite clear when Rob was talking about it this morning, I thought, I want to dig in that with you, Coupa as a platform. Yes. What is that, what does it look like? So, what's exciting about this is, so from our inception as a company, we were always had this O in Coupa, about being open as an, for the entire ecosystem that our customers might have. Our vision has always been, we want to be the, ultimately, the business screen for everything business spend management related for our customers. So over the years, we kept taking the level of openness with our partners through different, um, different levels, if you say, if you will. For example, we started with just integrations in the beginning, and we certify these integrations with Coupe Link. Um, we've taken it most recently, where we allow partners to embed their mini apps within Coupa. So, for example, um, you can see one of our partners, Ecovaris. Now they have uh, the capability to embed their supplier diversity data, sustainability data, right on the supplier record. Okay. And what's beautiful about this is that our customers, when they look at it, it looks a one beautiful unified experience and bringing all the data in context for what, what they want. Um, today, this morning, uh, Rob shared uh, one example from Amadeus for uh, trip integration, so right on the homepage. I can see, right within Coupa, I can see all their bookings that I've done with the travel provider, my pre-approvals, expense reports, all within one unified experience. But ultimately, where we want to take Coupa as a platform is to become this app directory that uh, third-party partners and uh, platform developers start building applications to extend Coupa to bring more choice and value to our customers. Okay, wow, so one of the things I saw Rob share this morning was integration with Slack. Yes. So business folks can review, approve, or reject, like expenses for example, yes. right from within Slack without even having to go into the platform. Yes, yes, that you hit on a very important concept, um, which we call the best UI is no UI in many yes. ways. And the idea there is um, we always put ourselves in the user's shoes and ask ourselves, how do we get them what they need with the least friction? In some cases, that might involve a user experience because you need to ask them questions. In many cases, we can automate the whole thing, so we just do it. 
And in many cases, it means we go to them, to where they are, such as in Slack. I'm not going to ask you to leave Slack, go somewhere else. Right then and there, you should be able to approve or reject why you have to go anywhere else. Is that what, what Kuba means by no UI is the best UI? Correct, best UI is no UI. So ultimately, wherever there is effort, we, we want to involve people only when they need to add value, that's it. And as much as we're able to automate, that's great. So we take that off of their table. And we also adjust to the type of experience they need. Sometimes just a text message is enough. Sometimes bring the data to me into a collaboration application that I want. Um, sometimes we, we help them approve right from um, a button. You don't even go into Coupa in order to do that. Okay. So we're always thinking of how we drive adoption, drive adoption. And it's an important concept, not just on the employee side of companies, it's even more so on the supplier side as well. Tell me how. When you think of any or, like large organizations, they have tens and of thousands of thousands of suppliers. Many have hundreds of thousands of suppliers. And the supplier ecosystem is everything from very small contractor, mom and pop shop, maybe two people or even one person, all the way to very, very large companies. Okay. So as you look at that whole spectrum, you have to really think what does every audience need. And so in many cases, these people, um, they may need to do everything very quickly, straight from an email, without having to remember a user ID and a password to log into something. So it eliminates friction at every step of the process for them. Wow, so let's talk about the, the community insights. Yes. We look at some of the, uh, the data that Coupa has gotten from finance leaders in the UK. There was a survey that you guys yes. did, Coupa did recently of 253 decision makers in finance, and some of the numbers were glaring, like wow, 96% of these decision makers said, we don't have complete visibility Correct. of all of our spend. And then I was talking to a um, customer today who said, we've got, now got 95% of all of our business spend going through Coupa, and that was within less than a year. Yes. So the opportunity there to deliver that visibility and those insights back to the community is, is potent. Is, is incredibly exciting, it's incredibly exciting. We're starting to see more and, and more, uh, the sentiment is definitely loud and clear, and um, by working constantly on the A, the accelerated in Coupa, we work on getting more and more of the spend for each and every customer under management. Um, we, when we start projects for customers right off the bat, uh, we use our AI classification tools before they even start with Coupa, where we start helping them get visibility onto all of their existing spend so that as they start into their Coupa journey, they are always looking at it holistically. Okay. So we normalize all of that data and provide them insights and reports right off the bat as well. Tell me about the customer interactions that you have. As the EVP of product, mm -hmm. a lot of customers on the platform, a lot of data there. How are customers influential yes, in yes. the direction? Like for example, you know, obviously won't give us secret sauce, but for Coupa Inspire 2020, what are some of the things that we might see customers influencing in terms yes. of your roadmap, the direction, partnerships? Yes, yes. Um, in general, the way um, we've always worked uh, at Coupa with our customers, and we call them like our community members really, is a inc very incredibly tight partnership. Um, we have three releases a year, January, May, and September. Each of them packed with roughly about anywhere 70 to 90 new features and capabilities. And all of these capabilities are touched, either conceived by customers, with customers, or touched by customers in the form of working with them on early access programs, validation, and all of that. And uh, for me, one of my most favorite things I get to enjoy about working in SaaS and, and uh, being at Coupa is that as soon as you are rolling out these capabilities and turning them on in the cloud, customers are using them. So even though, like for example, right now, my entire team has just finished the walkthroughs of all our May release for Inspire, and when we come back from this trip, uh, we will start the, you know, the, de the design and, and um, definition. Um, often, we might hear of new requirements that might come up, and because we are in SaaS, we're able to um, hear, adjust where it makes sense, and actually be incredibly responsive to what we see. How do you do that? How do you look through all the different responses and correlate that data and determine what makes sense to stack rank in terms yeah. of priorities for new features and new capabilities? So it's definitely an art and a science, for sure. 
Um, but there's a framework that uh, we follow uh, since the beginning and we continue to follow and continues to serve us really well, uh, which is always balancing between three drivers of customers, market, and innovation. So the customer one is the obvious one, of course, where in many events like this and one-on-ones and online community, we're talking to customers and they're specifically coming and asking for help in areas. Now, we may not build the feature exactly as they asked, but we listen to the pain beneath it and using the latest technologies, we think of what is the best approach to solve the real pain that they have. So that's one part of the planning for every release cycle. The other is overall market. So for example, as we grow into more regions, uh, newer areas, new spend categories, um, new adjacent power applications that our customers are needing, um, we start expanding in that area as well. Um, for example, we're right now in uh, London. Um, a lot of, uh, when I joined Coupa back in 2012, uh, we were just starting the uh, entry into the uh, EMEA market. And a lot of the product capabilities were market driven in the sense we were spending a lot of time on compliance and different regulations and all of that. And the third is innovation. And in what is always uh, one of the things as we bring people on board at Coupa and talk about the framework. Um, innovation for us is what we call pragmatic innovation. And it comes from deep understanding what are the customer problems, what are the market problems, and then we ask ourselves, using everything, the latest technologies, what is the best way? So you'll never hear us talk about AI for AI's sake and blockchain and all of that. We're always talking about, do we deeply understand the problem and what is the most appropriate? Um, so we call them CMI, Customer Market Innovation. Uh, within my uh, products organization, every product manager usually has a vision for their product and they have a for release roadmap. And in each for release roadmap, they are listing things as C, M, I. In many cases, the same capability is C and M and I. So it becomes an art and a science of balancing those types of things. But ultimately, when we look at a collective release of CMI, we're asking ourselves, how much does this release accelerate the success goals of our customers. Right. In Generally, fact, that's the framework that we use. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you for explaining that. In, in terms of acceleration, some of the, the numbers that Rob yeah. shared this morning were, I think your customers are collectively approving invoices 30% faster than last yes. year. Yeah. Uh, I said mid-sized mid market customers are getting li going live on Coupa in about four months. Correct. And mid uh, large enterprises in about eight months. So Correct. And I've talked to a number of customers today about the speed of which they're able to get onto the platform and actually start seeing business value. So that A from Coupa for acceleration was well dissected today. Yes, yes, it's definitely, um, a, a, these are the vision areas that Rob talked about today. And in each of these vision areas, we're always asking ourselves, how do we continue to accelerate? So f that's actually how one of the ideas was born around the turtles and the hair, which is, we want to accelerate cycle times, cycle times, and what are the different ways we can do this? What can we borrow from um, the, um, our consumer lives to do this? And that's where the gamification came. Yes. And, and sure enough, it was one of those things that got people super excited and, and they're putting more attention into it. Well, the consumer side of our lives is we're so demanding because we can get anything that we want. We can buy products and services, we can pay bills with a click or a swipe, and so the, the B2C side, from a payments perspective, has innovated far more rapidly than the B2B side has. Correct, correct. A lot more challenge there on the B2B side, yeah. but as consumers, we want a, a simple experience. One of the customers I spoke to today yeah. said, when he was looking for technology, he said, I want something that looks like Amazon Marketplace. Yep. Because from an adoption perspective, my teams will understand it. Yep. So that it, the consumerization always interests me because we are those pretty much you know, 12 plus hours a day, and to see how software companies like Coupa are taking and meeting the needs of those customers, it, obviously it's not an overnight process, gets people excited. It, gets, it absolutely is. And, um, you're right, and it always uh, fascinated me also how I've seen so many companies um, 
like people almost have two personalities. Like they go into their personal life, they have a personality, they go into their professional lives, and like, oh, it's okay, it's like back end system, this and this and this. Um, but increasingly, the new generation is no longer tolerating, and it, the drive is no. starting to, uh, no, to cultural, final shift and happen. Culture is changing, right? Yes, we yes. Just think, but I can, if I can have this in my personal life, then I need to be able to transact. Exactly, this exactly. Is the same way. Why does it take forty-five days? Exactly, it exactly. Take forty-five days. Um, so, last question for you. Mm -hmm. so your keynote is tomorrow. Yes. What are some of the strategic visionary elements that you're going to leave the audience with? So, I'm going to leave the audience with the um, key pillars of our strategy, um, latest innovations we've done towards them, and where we are taking them in the years ahead. One of the things I've always done uh, over the years at Inspire is we always share a preview of what um, the community has been talking to us about and we're working with. And usually at the end of it, a lot of new community members might come in and ask to participate in some of the development because it means a lot to them for their own business. And then usually by the following Inspire, we start showing these things actually live and, and um, executed on. So the, um, the three strategic pillars I'll be sharing and talking about are all around the pipe that Rob talked about. Yep. How do I capture more and more spend under management? So we'll be talking about the consumerizing experiences, voice, using voice use in Coupa, using visual recognition in Coupa. Uh, we'll be talking about new concepts around travel, around group cards, group buying, all of it around the theme, focus on the um, end users, and delight them, blow them away with consumer experiences. And then, now that we do all of that, we can jump into the power users because we are increasing that spend under management. The theme by far is all around sweet synergy. Sweet synergy? Sweet synergy. This doesn't exist in the market. Uh, the market overall was all siloed applications. We're creating a new category. And we've created these beautiful, elegant flows for our customers today, but there's also a a wonderful long journey ahead in what we are taking it. Well, maybe we'll get to talk about yes. Sweet Synergy at Inspire 2020. Absolutely, I will, we would love to have you again. Excellent, Roger, it's gonna thank be in you Vegas. for joining thank me you on for the having program me. this afternoon. Best of luck in your keynote tomorrow, and we'll see you at the next Inspire. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks. For Raja Hamoud, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE from Coupa Inspire 19 from London. Bye for now. <laughs>